in hive critical section first slide the said concept is there serialization and deserialization the said means serialization and deserialization what do you mean by serialization and deserialization generally serialization means general java example according to the java some any objects is there that objects converting into binary formats that we call a serialization and the binary formats again converting into objects format that we call a deserialization complete this two terminology we call it a serid said means the combination of serialization and deserialization we call it a serid in our hadoop also we are using this concept here in our hive what exactly the serialization doing he is in our hadoop for example i have json data is there same json data is there though json data i create a table create a table by the three column here how many objects is there three objects is the name age and some locations look at yeah some columns city or location also is there name age location i create a table so and so table name column name is called one or a name i'm taking first city for example and stuff i'm taking first age integer then name sting not a problem you can take it and loc sting and after that by using a command called row format like that i am using command said said functions i am using i create a table after that simply by using load operator i am loading the data our regular command load data local in path or local in path so what happened automatically data comes and storing into hdfs the name columns the 26 everything comes and storing into the first column age columns the age 26 32 age is there now that age columns come and storing into first column name columns come and storing into second column and loc come and storing into third column if there is no loc some columns simply null loading there is no age null loading there is no name null loading not a problem automatically coming two steps that we call a json serid this said we are applying in the json now that's we call the json serid and feature we are applying some other data type that we call for example xml xml serid okay let's see the practical you get the clarity so i have some data is there my local file system cat json data you can take this data or else some clump. this is a neatly all data is available for example cat json data to i think yeah see here some in order data name age equation name age only only name age name only here see here age comes first name comes second here age and location only coming here name and age only coming in order data this data i want to convert into structure format this data also working fine but this data also working like this clumsy data also how to create a table how to create a table we know create a table create a table table name but what function we are using as in our hive number of inbuilt functions is there show functions it lists out all the functions it listed all the functions but this said function is not available this said function is not available in our vmware but i want to use it so what we are doing we want to write our own function we want to develop our own function developing our own function but this said function already some people have developed so directly use it if there is no code we can develop our own function i will tell you further classes how to develop our own function as of now let's see create table table name but before the yeah table name row format said the complete said name we are giving here but before that one we are adding the jar file first we are downloading the jar file some people are already developed who's developed those apache people are already developed so i'm going to that apache website and i'm downloading this jar file okay let's see first download it copied 
see here this is my jar file now after that i want to use the jar file if you want to use the jar file means you want to add it how to add the jar file into my hive yes by the help of this command by the help of the add this keyword helps to adding jar files external jar files add jar complete path of the jar file where i pasted my jar file where i copy pasted here only home training desktop i pasted my jar file and the jar file name along with the extension also enter jar file is added okay let's say i copy pasted this one copied control c go to vmware paste it enter jar file is added see added resources successfully now i want to create a table create a table how to create a table same syntax create table table name okay one second i will do it for you table table name for example json say dx some name i'm taking and the column names yeah friends make a note make a note the point is here must and should what column names what object names is there same object names we want to maintain column names what are the object names i'm repeating make it in your practice time this points only people are generally forgetting what object names is there those object names we want to take it as a column names here so object name is name so case sense to clearly i won't take the same thing name sting age integer and third one is location or city one second i'm checking loc okay loc string like that in our four step strategy in our four step strategy fourth query must and should fourth query we want to maintain the case sensitive now here here only okay remember right make a note then row format shared single quotes give me complete file name like org dot apache dot some big name is there what is this this completely the jar file package name class name everything pasted single quotes closed semicolon enter table is created table is created and we cut out also why quite because we are previously we are setting some headers that's why we are quoting but table is created again log into hive this is the one thread in header command that's why we are coming out again i'm logging into my database use krish db2 this is the database we are there so use Krish DB2 your login right yes here one more point yes sometimes errors also teaching i'm came out from the terminal now so the header is gone sorry not header the jar file also gone jar file is not working now because whenever we are there terminal that much time only the jar files is working if you want to use this one permanently at the time of configuration level setting level you want to do it permanently so here again i want to create a jar file add resources successfully jar file added now already table is there already table i created not required to create again table simply load command only load data local in path file name what is file name json data 2 okay data 2 into table table name what is table name json shared 
ex enter enter yes loading data successfully i want to see it select store from json said underscore ex enter setting header properly yes see the data loadings properly setting header set to hive dot cli dot print dot header equal to two yes name column name is there age column age is there city column city is there if anything is not finding null is loading simply that location right this is the completely json data handling